You're watching uh, the news here on Magic Bricks now. We're going to go straight to the headlines. Priority is to get back to work as soon as possible and start working for Mumbai as we have been. So, um, there are a lot of, uh, it's not the 114 number, it's a different calculation. Many calculations are being worked out by each party, but currently we're focusing on, as you see, meeting everyone who's won. Mega Magic Flicks now exclusive Aditya Takre's first exclusive conversation after the crucial BMC elections speaks to us on the Sena's brainstorming strategy right now on In Matsushri. Well, the BJP is willing to sit in opposition. That's what we hear from the BJP camp. Party leaders expected to talk strategy in a meeting with, at the Chief Minister's residence, Varsha, this evening. Meanwhile, with 31 seats in hand and the ability to be a kingmaker, the Congress party also goes into a huddle to decide its next move. And also in other news, Prakash Jha's lipstick under my burqa has been blocked. And now Bollywood Unites against the censor board says it will fight the ban. Well, the dust has barely settled from the big BMC election that we saw play out yesterday. To give you an update on where it was, it was a fractured mandate with the Shiv Sena ending at 84 seats, the BJP at 82 seats and the Congress at 31. The MNS, interestingly, has about seven seats that could also add up to something. Now, remember, neither the BJP nor the Sena have the numbers to actually form the BMC government. They need to go up to 114. The Sena, they're short of 30 seats. Disha Shah of Magic Bricks now got an exclusive conversation with Aditya Thakre, the uh, young prince of the Sena, on what the political scenarios are, what the strategy is that the Sena is considering right now. Is the buzz about the fact that the Sena might consider the Congress as a possible ally? Is that a possibility as well? That's what she asked him. Take a look. Congratulations for the big win. It's of course 26th year for the Shiv Sena in right. the BMC elections. So when we talk about issues, because Mumbai as a city we know for the fact it's good in terms of infrastructure, but uh, in the last one year of course potholes, uh, citizens, I mean BMC has got a lot of flack in terms of potholes and of course roads, transport. So what is the Shiv Sena solutions for that now in the coming five years? It's not just the last one year. and. Um as I've said it before, that I wouldn't lie that there are no potholes or no issues. But for the last 20 years, the Shiv Sena has been working. And um, as you rightly said, it's the 26th year for the Shiv Sena in power. I don't think without uh, making an effort to solve those, the citizens of Mumbai, which is such a vast city with so many people, so many diverse people, would have their faith on a single party. Yesterday, I was speaking to a couple of journalists or bureaucrats and all. And uh, they were the same opinion that to fight an election with such heavy incumbency, and after 20 years to win it again and being emerging as the single largest party. It's a big win for the Sena, of course. Uh, over the last three, four years since I've got active into the civic issues, you must have seen and hopefully very soon you'll be accompanying me also when I go out on uh, nightly rounds to check the potholes or roads or water issues. Of course, there are a lot of issues, some that we've solved, which we've put up as hoardings and uh, some that we are yet to solve, which we've put as promises. But if you see throughout the campaign also, We've only spoken about issues, solutions and the work done. There has been no negative campaign from the Sena. So now on priority, which basically a problem is that, that Shiv Sena is going to pick up and going to give an immediate solution on priority to to, to do list? No, every uh, department of the BMC is very important. It is priority that every department works very smoothly. Of course, roads, roads if you see right from 2012, each year about 1,000 roads have been taken by the BMC to resurface. This year also, as we speak right now, there are 450 roads that are being resurfaced. So uh, when it comes to roads, not all roads can happen together. There are a lot of jurisdictions and also traffic issues. As in when traffic gets diverted, the BMC gets the road from the traffic police to shut down and work on. That is a major issue, of course. Uh, clean water and sanitation. Uh, we're constructing uh, sewer treatment plants, which will bring back about 2,700 MLD. That's million liters a day back for non-portable use. That is another thing. Pumping stations, we're finishing the one at Gazdarban by March. 
uh, hopefully that once it starts off like britannia haji ali love grove if you see the uh, amount of flooding in mumbai has reduced over the last 5 years 6 years right. it's because of the pumping stations earlier mumbai used to be flooded till about the chest level yeah. and for 2 3 days now it's water logging till about the knee or ankle that's a natural phenomenon but even in times of heavy rain for example one of the nights in september we had 114 mm of rain in a night and mumbai did not flood so pumping stations is a major issue of course uh, education we're giving a lot of focus on in terms of technology bringing in tabs virtual classrooms for 480 schools sanitary pads in all schools so these are issues that we're focusing on and um, i think we've got a priority set in that matter that of course the citizens have to be helped first in terms of shops and establishments and uh, every permission of the bmc we've got everything online to make it transparent as transparent as the commissioner's remarks to be out there on the website itself so all these issues are being looked at by the sena and what about women safety issues because we know for the fact that shiv sena in all the neighboring uh, cities as well they have been very protective about women yes. safety issues but uh, off lately we have been seeing that uh, you know there have been a lot of crimes that have happened have taken place in the past so what about uh, what on the women safety issues see like a couple of uh, issues like for example safety traffic and all which are not under the jurisdiction we had in put in a manifesto because these were not uh, bmc issues however having said that uh, Uh, what we are trying to do now is akshay kumar and i run an academy for women self defense and we believe that no one should be dictating to women of what time they should be stepping out or what they should wear because they aren't responsible for the attacks that happen on them primarily the focus would be to take these self defense classes with whoever wants to help us into bmc for free training of all the girls right. for self defense so that is there of course uh, another major initiative that has worked out is uh, the the uh, the room that we've made at um, this the bmc headquarters you have uh, basically you have a war room there which connects the army navy air force police and every ward of the bmc but we've given connectivity to 5000 cctv cameras that keep a watch on mumbai streets connected to the police so the police and the bmc are working in close sync on that so these issues of course are majorly on a priority but as i said self defense training would be a major boost for the mumbai schools and my last question to you uh, is that we know to form a majority like you know in the bmc of course uh, a party needs 115 seats so shiv sena has won 84 seats this time around and there's a strong like you know rumor possibility that shiv sena might look at post alliance with the congress because they exactly have 31 seats of course if you do the math it will be 115 so your uh, thoughts on that as i said you know it's it's a major win for uh, shiv sena 84 out after five terms and uh, the priority is to get back to work as soon as possible and start working for mumbai as we have been so um there are a lot of uh, it's not the 114 number it's a different calculation many calculations are being worked out by each parties but currently we are focusing on as you see meeting everyone who's won uh, celebrating the victory i think i think that is the focus right also meeting independent candidates a couple of them have joined us openly and uh, they've given the support thank you so thank much you. Well of of course that's the big interview that we have today to give you Aditya Thakre speaking to Magic Bricks now after the massive victory that the Shiv Sena had yesterday remember the Shiv Sena has 84 seats compared to 82 of uh, the BJP 31 of the Congress and 7 uh, and 4 uh, and of the NCP so this is where we are right now the Sena of course is conducting meetings Aditya Thakre has told us that there are several independents who have joined them openly two we know of have con firm that takes the sena up to 86 still short of 114 though disha shah who spent most of the day at matra shri uh, joins us right now uh, disha has been tracking uh, the the say the shiv sena for us also richa joins us uh, tracking the bjp and aishwarya from the congress headquarters in mumbai disha you first um, tell us of course in that meeting with aditya thakre he hinted to a couple of things he said we're constantly meeting people we're celebrating and he sounded as if uh, you know the the sena run a bmc wants to get back to work so he was very confident that he would be able to get together the numbers to be able to run the sena uh, were there any hints there as to where those numbers are going to come from Absolutely. The first thing that he hinted uh, in the interview exclusively to us was that uh, the he the Shiv Sena is obviously talking to a couple of ind independent candidates to retain the power in the BMC. And of course, uh, two we know so far has already joined uh, Shiv Sena. But there might there might be chances of a couple of more independent candidates uh, getting. Uh, but of course, the that has not come officially uh, from the Shiv Sena or any of the officials uh, from that party. But what we understand at this point, it is very important to note here. Of course, uh, it is the twenty. 
sixth year for the Shiv Sena and they have like celebrated victories after victories in every BMC election. And what we understand uh, is that uh, although uh, uh, Congress, way, Congress might be one of the party that they might look at uh, getting in post-alliance, uh, considering they have 31 seats. But uh, of course, they have obviously, they have always, uh, uh, you know, got all the support from the Marathi-speaking population. And of course, uh, now what we understand is that uh, Shiv Sena and Congress, there might be possibility post-alliance. But that, of course, it's in a very initial stages uh, for now. But independent candidates, uh, of course, they have joined Shiv Sena. So we ha we'll have to wait and watch uh, in uh, a couple of more uh, days as to what the outcome will be. But of course, uh, we will have to watch in the next couple of days what the outcome will be. Disha, there speaking uh, to Aditya Thakre, she was also she also spent the entire day at uh, Matsushri, where, uh, like she pointed out, several people coming in and out to congratulate the Thakres, and also there are a lot of meetings going on as to where the rest of those numbers are going to come from. Now, one possibility is the Congress headquarters. Aishwarya is at the Congress headquarters. From what we understand, the state leaders of the Congress have gotten together in a huddle to decide what they can do right now with the 31 seats they have in hand. Remember, Congress went into this uh, BMC election with 52 seats in hand and have walked out with 31. Now, while that has been considered a massive defeat across the state, what are they going to do with those 31 seats, which incidentally is just enough to help the Shiv Sena achieve its target of 114. Like we were talking to Kumar Ketkar some time ago, who pointed out to us that it wouldn't work well for the Congress uh, in UP to uh, get into any sort of understanding with the Sena right now. But which way are they going to go? Aishwarya, what are you hearing from the Congress headquarters at this point? Right now, a meeting is underway where all the big leaders of Maharashtra are there. Ashok Shavan, Narayan, uh, Narayan Rane, Sushil Kumar Shinde, uh, Sanjay Nirupam, the one who had offered his resignation yesterday when we saw him coming inside, Charan Singh Sapra, all of them are inside in a closed room meeting. And the number one topic that they are talking about is whether they should go ahead with the alliance with Shiv Sena and not. Now, let's look at the numbers. Uh, Congress has 31 and Shiv Sena has 84. If we combine both of them, we come to the magical number of 115. What sources are telling us is that Congress is a little inclined towards going ahead and uh, forming an alliance from the Shiv, Shiv Sena, but they are also waiting to uh, they are waiting and watching to see whether Shiv Sena is also equally inclined for this alliance or not. Currently, this meeting is underway. What people are telling us is that this should get over in the next half an hour. So, in the next half an hour to one hour, we should get to know whether Congress is really keen into going an, into an alliance with Shiv Sena or not, because they are saying they want to decide as soon as possible. Because, as you rightly pointed out, they do have the power to be the kingmaker at least in this civic election. Well, uh, they do have the power, and that's the interesting thing. And uh, like, like we found out, uh, several Congress representatives who were on this channel said anyone but the BJP. So the motive here could be to just keep the BJP out of the BMC and in opposition. But can they take that risk really in uh, UP? That's the question to ask today. But uh, let me go across to uh, Richa, who's standing by Richa's at the BJP headquarters. Uh, Richa, I understand there's a high-level BJP meeting that will take place at the Chief Minister's residence uh, later tonight. At Varsha. Uh, what are the BJP's options at this point, Richa? Other than, you know, a few independents that they're also talking to, a couple of BJP representatives told us that independents are considering the BJP as well. Now, even if the independents with 14 split evenly between the Sena and the BJP, uh, th that's still not enough uh, numbers to hit 114. What happens next? What is the BJP likely to be discussing? So right now BJP and, the, and their core committee are uh, going around discussing and thinking about what are the options that they have and that's when they have come up with this option of maybe sitting in the opposition because uh, all uh, the, their first priority still seems uh, maybe to get into an alliance which they are not ready to accept for right now to get in, into an alliance with the Shiv Sena but this could happen moving forward uh, which we will find out today in the meeting that happens in the evening uh, where all the top level MPs, MLAs and uh, of, the, of the state will uh, huddle up and meet the CM and discuss on this issue. But moving forward, apart from the independence that they might have, uh, they will, uh, they, the very strong indication that the top officials gave us, opposition is an option for them and uh, they might go forward with it if they don't get into an alliance with Shiv Sena. They might go forward if they don't get into an alliance with the Shiv Sena. These are the numbers on your screen. For, for those of our viewers who are not uh, tuned in last night, if you were at work and uh, you have the day off today, 
This is where it ended. Uh, 227 seats in the BMC altogether. 84 for the Shiv Sena, 82 for the BJP, 9 for the NCP, 31 for the Congress, 7 for the MNS, and of course 14 for others. The interesting, couple of interesting moves here. The MNS with seven seats becomes a very interesting combination. The NCP with nine seats as well is something that we are watching very closely. But the simple math. Uh, the simplest math will be the Congress, will be the BJP and the Sena together, which a lot of uh, political analysts still believe is, uh, you know, is the way that they will go. Uh, but the Congress there, incidentally, with just enough seats to be able to take the uh, Sena to the magic number of 114. Also, in an exclusive uh, interview to the Times Network, Maharashtra Chief Minister dared the Shiv, the Shiv Sena, uh, Udhav Thakre Chief, and said. The verdict, uh, you know, uh, said, uh, you know, they should, the mayor should be off the BJP. Also made it very clear that this verdict right now that uh, the BJP has received clearly means that the people want a change. Listen in. See, uh, I would say that now the mandate is such mm. that uh, I think uh, uh, BJP is going to decide who will be the mayor. Okay. And, uh, and, uh, and I would... I would just say hmm. that what is our strategy would be decided in our core committee. So hmm. we neither have st uh, state or claim, nor are we backing backing uh, backing hmm. uh, down. Hmm. In fact, uh, I think the verdict largely is that we should make our mayor. Hmm. But uh, I, I won't comment on it because in in our party uh, we have this system where uh, the entire team will decide. Hmm. So we will hold a meeting of our core committee. Hmm. The entire core committee will decide the strategy and. As per the strategy of core committee, we'll move that's, ahead. That's fine, Mr. Pandavis. You see. Of course, all parties uh, right now are in a huddle to find out uh, what they have in hand. Uh, here are some political reactions that have come in over the last 24 hours. Also, we won. So now. We... Note Bandi ka virod karne walon ki janta ne naake bandi shuru kar diye. अगर आप देखें तो जो पॉलिटिकल जो प्रोग्रेस पर पॉलिटिकल पलीता लगाने का पाखंड पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज करती रही हैं तो इस तरह के प्रोग्रेस पर पलीता लगाने के पॉलिटिकल पाखंड को लोगों ने परास्त करना शुरू किया है अगर न केवल महाराष्ट्र के बीएमसी इलेक्शंस को देखें अगर आप तो और भी इससे पहले जो जिला पंचायतों के इलेक्शंस हुए उससे पहले जो है लोकल बॉडीज के इलेक्शंस हुए अभी उड़ीसा का इलेक्शन हुआ हर जगह का एक ही सबक और संदेश उन पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज के लिए है जो पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज की देश के प्रोग्रेस पर पलीता लगाने का पाखंड कर रही थी ऐसे देश के प्रोग्रेस पर पलीता लगाने वाली पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज को देश की जनता परास्त कर रही है We'd like to thank the voters of Maharashtra. Clearly, this is a historic victory, not just in Mumbai, where we've almost uh, doubled our tally to three times over, but also if you take, for example, Pune, Pimpri Changewood, Solapur, Amravati, Nasik, Nagpur, the performance has been so outstanding and exemplary. It shows you that the people of Maharashtra stand in solidarity with Prime Minister Modi and have accepted the clean leadership of Devendra Fadnavis as Chief Minister. This is basically a municipal election. The reasons are basically municipal. It's connected with electricity, it's connected with uh, revenue, connected with the local region. So each issue has its own uh, parameters. So we are talking about election at the larger level. Municipal elections have always been about purely local affairs. And uh, this was, I think, basically a question on demonetization and the edge that Sivshena has is essentially because they have supported the anti-demonetization uh, and they were loudest in Mumbai onto that issue, that one must admit. But yes, there has to be course correction in the Congress party, which will be undertaken by our senior members. Well, it is a bit of a disappointing, but that doesn't mean that we have lost the cause. If you look at, even the Shiv Sena was opposing demonetization and Shiv Sena emerged as the number one party in the BMC. So by and large, whenever there is a local body elections and those are goes in favor of the ruling government. In our country, the municipalities are not self-sufficient and they are dependent on the state government for funding. And the local leaders and chief minister, never in the history before, he campaigned in every municipality 
indirectly threatening them that if you don't vote for BJP, Shiv Sena Alliance, that we will not give any funding. So these kind of tactics they played and by and large it helps. So we will see that we will review it and we will take it further. Bombay ke municipality ka chunao tha. Janta ne faisla de diya. To janta ne jo faisla diya uska swagat karna chahiye. It's a humiliating defeat for the Congress party and the NCP. A party which was ruling for the last 15 years could not even get half the vote or seats which they had won earlier. In many other palikas, BJP has emerged a clear winner. An election which was termed as a rival between Shiv Sena and BJP, it has turned out to be a boon for both the parties, particularly in Tane and Mumbai, where both the parties have garnered majority of the seats in those Mahanagara Palikas. Even the divided Shiv Sena BJP could not be defeated by the Congress party and NCP. It's a clear rejection by the people of Mumbai. And of course, uh, our focus today is that big exclusive interview with Aditya Thakre that our reporter Adisha Shah uh, got for us uh, today, where he talks about the fact that they're in conversation with various stakeholders. He said independents have joined the SENA uh, openly, and uh, they're now considering all of the other options that the party high command, who incidentally is his father, Uddhav Thakre, is considering all of those options, and uh, they want to get back to work as soon as possible. That's what he said, get back to work as soon as possible, meaning that the Shiv Sena has every intention there to find the numbers to be able to begin work in the BMC. Charan Singh Sapra of the Congress Party joins me on the phone line. Uh, Charan Singh Sapra, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, here's, here's the story that's been doing the rounds today. The Congress has 31 seats in hand, just enough uh, to be able to give the Shiv Sena the backing they need to form a government in the BMC. Is that something the Congress is considering? No, I don't think so. This is basically a rumor mm. which probably, you know, suits the BJP. BJP is uh, probably spreading this rumor in the city so that, you know, Shiv Sena gets little uh, pressurized or little disturbed over this. I feel Congress will never go for this because BJP as well as Shiv Sena, they are looked as communal parties. And Congress does not believe in communalism. We are a secular party, number one. And number two, in this election, I feel the horse trading has already started. The Shiv Sena and the BJP both are going after various corporators, especially the independents and others from the smaller parties. The horse trading has started and uh, it is because of this horse trading. I feel the commissioner has also taken a decision to, do a, uh, uh, to elect the mayor by ballot. Now, when there's a ballot coming in, nobody will be knowing who's voting for whom. Mm. So it will be a large-scale horse trading in Mumbai. And I don't think so that Congress is going to support Shiv Sena. This is a match-fixing, a sort of match-fixing, which earlier happened in Kalyan Dombivili election. Mm. Both the parties, they fought separately. Then they came together. They promised people of Kalyan Dombivili so many things, which they have not uh, bothered to, you know, fulfill those promises. They have done the same here in Mumbai. And this is probably a match fixing between BJP and Shiv Sena, which will, you know, uh, expose them in the days to come. So uh, the, the Shiv Sena and the BJP, interestingly, uh, Charan Singh Sapra, have spent the last couple of months trading allegations about, uh, you know, gundagardi and corruption. Uh, do you think that this is something, uh, you know, that, that uh, the Congress is going to ask for in terms of uh, evidence? If the BJP has accused the Shiv Sena and the Thakres themselves of, uh, you know, of corruption, should, uh, should the evidence in that, uh, in, uh, as far as those accusations yeah. are concerned, be made available to the public? See, if you remember, they did the same in the last assembly election. They fought separately and there were allegations and counter-allegations. Similar thing happened during Kalyan Dombivili election. And now they have gone a little step ahead. They have hidden each other below the belt. And Congress will definitely ask, if they are coming together tomorrow, then Congress will definitely ask BJP whether are they going to act against the mafias or are they going to investigate the uh, companies of Udav Thakre, which the BJP MP has alleged. And we will also ask the Shiv Sena 
what steps they'll be taking to stop the gunda raj of bjp so there are so many things which congress will definitely ask congress as a opposition party will play its full role and we are not going to support either of the two all right uh, charan singh sapra many thanks for joining us the congress there uh, preparing to be in opposition in the bjp and saying that they will play their full role as uh, members of the opposition that's a wrap on uh, this particular uh, episode of the news but stay with us as we continue to track the developments in the bmc and the possibilities of alliances on our uh, with our special interview there of aditya takri all day today You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now, and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now.